Here in part 2, I have to make a Dropbox for the withdrawal bank. For the withdrawal bank, the source is from the bank accounts list. Here. Select it from withdrawal bank column. Now, create a list. A list is already created, but that's for deposit bank. Doesn't matter, just reuse it. Here you see the previous list, so I rename it as Withdrawal Bank, reuse it, okay? You can delete these later. Oops, how come? Oh, I see, because I need to use Withdrawal Bank column H. Okay, H6 here, all right. Copy this formula. Control C, escape, and then Control F, free. Let me go back to the fund transfer. Withdrawal bank, Alt D L, open up validation allow list. Click source and then F free. Oops. Control F free. Let's see. Oops. There's one already. Okay, this one. Alt D L, press L. Tap and then source F3. Let me try select bank account. Yeah, it works. Okay, got it. Control F3, simply remove select withdrawal bank. Put this select bank account list. Look for H6. Oops, it's duplicate. Just pick one, add it as select withdrawal bank. Control C, Shift N, down arrow, right click, pay special validation. Then you should be able to select bank accounts. Now just click somewhere. Let me look up for the English description first. Equals index bracket. So go back to bank account, English description. Okay, this column, comma, oh, enter. For the match, go back to fund transfer, bank accounts, English column, okay, comma, zero, exact match, and then close the bracket. Oops, can't find it. Oops, should be like this. Match back to bank accounts, withdrawal bank, okay. Withdrawal bank, yeah. I don't want to have NA, so if error, wrap it around and then Alt Enter, comma, Alt Enter, double quote slash, close the bracket, make it bigger. All right. After that, use the English description to look up for the bank reference. We need those bank ref because when we generate reports, we can make use of these references. Inside withdrawal bank reference equals index, just like what we did before. What comes after index is our target column. Okay, we need to look up for the bank account reference. Reference the first cell, shift and down arrow. Okay, ref is now select. Comma, usually I alt enter for the match, get back to bank. Withdraw bank column, comma, match with the bank accounts withdraw bank column. Okay, match itself, zero exact match, alt enter, close the bracket. Now you see one, two, three, four. If error again, okay, alt enter, comma, in case it returns error, Return dash. Close the bracket. One, two, three, four. Done. Usually, I'll test it out. Just pick three here. Get free. I don't want transaction ref and withdrawal amount to turn green yet because I want to enter withdrawal bank after returning references. Simply copy the reference from bank account. This fail is purely optional. So I do it like this. Alt OD. 
new rule and then use a formula. If it's blank, it's blank. Okay, then select the first cell, press F4 until you see a dollar sign before E and then and none before 6. If it's blank, format and then oops, doesn't matter, return green. If it's blank, return white. Okay, all right. Let's do it the other way. White, white background and black font. Okay, okay. Applies to shift and down arrow. Select the whole column and then apply. There should be nothing because I did this. Oops. Now select the whole column and fill it with green. So now if I type something, oops, let's do formatting first. Simply type something here and then I can start entering here, okay? Select withdraw amount, control one, fill with green, then alt o d and it applies to instead of just transaction ref and withdrawal, select or the two columns and hit apply. For deposit bank reference. So you see here, let's make it thicker. The deposit bank should be the same. In other words, under deposit bank, alt DL, allow list, source, and then F3, select deposit bank, OK. Let's see if it works. Usually the source for withdrawal and deposit bank should be the same. I separate them because just in case like HSBC, multiple currency accounts embedded inside one premium account then deposit and withdrawal will be different that's why i separate the withdrawal and deposit bank otherwise they should share the same source Control c shift and down arrow right click pay special validation just make sure only copy the validation instead of others here just like what we did Four, three, two, one. Then Control C, copy the withdrawal bank account to the deposit bank account English. Control V and change withdrawal bank to deposit bank. Okay, just change it to deposit bank. They should be the same. Now I use the withdrawal bank reference. Control C, deposit bank reference. Right click. A special formula, let it return the result. 1, 2, 3, 4 is not correct. It should be 4, 3, 2, 1. That's why I reverse it. Go back to deposit bank reference. Change withdrawal bank to deposit. So when one side is done, the other side is also done. 4, 3, 2, 1. I deliberately di distinguish it from 1, 2, 3, 4 with the reverse order. Okay. For the error message, I'll just leave it. For transfer reference, these two being smarter this time, select or control 1. Fill it in with green. Alt, Alt D and then create a new rule. Use a formula click format equals to is blank where J6 is empty. I want it to scroll, so press F4 until it locks column J, but not row 6. Okay. Then click Applies to and select the first cell, select the whole column, hit Apply. Oops, oh, OD, no format. I see. Because I need to choose white, sorry. Font doesn't matter. Okay, done. So you see me empty the reference and the error message. I leave it here because it will be dealt with when I create the journal entries. So we'll explain it by then. So the font transfer interface is done. In the next video, I'll move on to the payment and receipt.